we are off welcome i am gonzo from cet productions and today we are doing forza now i'm a retired technician i did performance tests um i still hold a record for a dyno with 383 um on a dyno at what was it 530 foot pounds of torque um and it was stroker engine 383 which is a 350 board 30 over um, which becomes 64 cc's in the chamber. So um, I have two degrees in automotive. Um, so what we're gonna do here is I already built a Grand National. And if you haven't seen that video, that Grand National is very, very fast. I did a six cylinder twin turbo, small turbo, no spool, and very, very fast. Um, it, it keeps up with a lot of stuff, but it definitely could use a little bit more. I can change the gear ratios around to get a little more top end because right now the car top end is about um, is about 180. It, that's where it tops at 10th gear 180. So what we're going to do is I want you, the viewers, to decide. Are we going to go American or are we going to go domestic? Or uh, are we going to go with domestic or are we going to go import? Sorry. Um, and excuse me if I cough a lot. Um, I found out just by going to the doctor yesterday, I can't hear anything, really. My ears are muffled. I have two ear infections, a sinus infection, a bronchial infection, some bronchitis, um, and some other major problems. So, uh, so excuse me if I cough or or anything like that. It's It's... It's just, I can't do anything about it. It's pretty bad. Um, if the music is too loud, let me know. Uh, you know, if you can't overhear my voice, let me know. Or if the music is not loud enough. So, here we go. Welcome back, Dustin. Now, I don't know what I'm going to be doing, so I'm going to grab, I want to show you my other car. Now, this one's called a Vauxhall, but really what this car is, this is a GTO, a newer GTO. That's exactly what that car is, okay? So, I've already souped this car up. Now, if we look at the upgrades here, don't ever auto upgrade. It's not, it just doesn't work. Okay, so we have uh, we have your intake. We have individual ported. Okay, so then it's gonna be it's gonna be port and uh, match, gasket match, and new cams, um, which is going to allow for higher lift, more air, more scavenging. Obviously, you need the injectors. I mean, you have to have the injectors. Um, I don't own that yet for some reason. Huh. Okay, well, for some reason, it won't let me buy it. Now, full exhaust, whatever comes in has to get out. So, you force induction, has to get out. This is your valve train. Your valve train is, is going to be corresponding with, um, with your cams. And uh, if you've ever heard of VTEC from Honda, what that is is a solenoid that initiates and it actually goes into a pin and it allows the lobes of the camshaft to open wider, allowing more air. And in order to get stoichiometric is 14.7 to 1 uh, parts air to fuel, you have more air coming in. Now you have forced induction. You're going to need, you know, depending on how much boost you have, you're going to need 30 pound injectors. Um, so CFM, well, not CFM injectors, but but by volume, it's going to be 30 pounds by volume. Um, so these are all things. This is called blueprinting an engine. You have to know all of these things. Okay, so changing the pistons now, and if you're going to turbocharge a car. Or supercharge it you're gonna to want to concave the pistons to lower that compression ration because as soon as you as soon as you put compression into it 
what's going to end up happening is your compression ratio is going to go so high once it hits probably about 13 to 1 it actually will detonate while the piston's coming up because of the heat um so you can't have that you have to have cold air so they have cold air induction we use ice boxes and dried ice on the track um and that also works so that's just a little bit on that brakes of course you need suspension okay like look at this why am i not be able to unlock spring damper and alignment tuning um oh i must have put it in my box now this here it helps but it it puts more weight on And I don't like more weight. Okay, this is a weight reduction. We want that. And of course, the braking. Aerodynamics, very important. You're going to want to do the front, and you're going to want to do the back. It's very important to keep down force. Now, drive train swap. I can go to all wheel drive, but I'm going to lose a lot of power. Okay, turbo. So, this is a centrifugal supercharger. Okay, so it runs off the belt. It's not a root supercharger. This is called a root supercharger. This actually replaces the intake. Okay, um, it gives a lot more power. But it takes horsepower to make horse uh, to to make horsepower. With twin turbo, though, it doesn't take. It takes exhaust. It takes back pressure. So 121, 111. I'm going twin turbo. Um, and we're gonna go with a concave. We're not doing an engine swap. I don't want. I don't want to do that. Okay. So, so this is what I did. I did a little bit. So I explained a little bit about what's going on. Um, I feel like you can't hear the, the, the sound of the game. If that's the case, please let me know. Okay. Well, let's just get started in the racing. Um, I just souped this car up and let's go find a race. Now this car is going to be much quicker because I put twin turbos on it. It's going to spool very quickly and very loud too. I want to find a road. Whatever reason is I have to drive in this because I've actually raced cars. So I kind of understand. See how squirrely it is. I need to put some 35s in the back. Possibly even drop the back end. Oh, I wasn't paying attention, but okay, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so the car is definitely fast enough. I just want to find a straightaway, so I'm going to go down to the freeway here. get up probably to about 200 miles an hour 
because this actually has a Camaro engine in it, and the Camaro engine actually is the Corvette engine. Oh, I gotta adjust six gear. One ninety. Yeah, six gear doesn't have enough acceleration. So I need to change the ratio on six. Okay, so what we need to do is I need to I should go back to a garage, but you know what? I'm just gonna race. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Oh, I can't ram through that. All right. I thought I could ram through it, but I can't. So, what what's gonna happen now is I'm going to just do. There we go. Turn around. It is safe to do so. Well, that wasn't safe at all. Now, if I change this to all wheel drive, the handling would be great, but I would lose so much power that that it wouldn't be worth it. Before I go into this race, though, I need to tune up uh, uh, my sixth gear. Probably, I'm not sure what the ratio is on it right now, but it's got to go up. Turn sharp left. Turn sharp left. Okay. So we're going to go with this one. Um, well, I'll take this car. Hopefully, it'll let me tune it. I think it will. That is one badass car. It's a badass car right there. I mean, it's it's a it's a GTO and V8 twin turbo. That car probably would sell for hundred and forty thousand. Maybe. Okay. Tune car. Okay, what we need to do is we need to go to gearing. Oh. I don't have shit. It's, it's, uh, wait, what does it say? Unlock. Unlock by installing race transmission upgrades. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to deal with it for right now. Um, so I wanted to change the ratio. I need to read the ratio on, on six gear because the ratio is too low. Um, I can't pick up speed with uh, air resistance. Again, if the music's too loud, you can't hear me, please let me know and I'll turn it down. I wanna give you the best visual you can. No! That guy was not supposed to ram me like that. See, the car gets a little squirrely, but it's got about... It's probably got about 700 foot-pounds of torque. And again, this is a GTO. Is really what it is. They call it a GTO because of licensing, but it's a GTO.
I gotta catch up to these guys. Attention. Okay, come on now. Problem is, I, I'm not I'm trying to look at the map as well. Luckily, these guys are slow back here. Sir, he's got an RT uh, Viper in front of me. Inside pass. Nitrous? Where's the nitrous? I, I need to be driving the Supra, probably, or the Grand National. This car is just too squirrely. I haven't driven in a while. Come on. Okay, well, I took third. Okay, let's buy an Evo. Okay, guys. Well, you guys didn't uh, put anything in chat, so we're going to buy an Evo. guys what I can't buy it now oh, I was gonna do this again no All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break and see if this loads anything up. I don't think it's going to, but okay, we'll see. I'll be right back. This is Gonzo CET. Be back in five minutes. Okay, he toasted me a little bit there. That's one life. 
Okay, jumping and kicking doesn't really work. Oh. No. Oh, you can hit him to get him. Stop doing that. Oh, come on. I don't know why he's a puppy. Sip your way into the holiday spirit with Starbucks Peppermint Mocha. Sweet, creamy whip, chocolatey swirl, a dash of peppermint, steamed milk, and espresso. It's a little gift to give yourself. Find your cheer on the Starbucks app today. Don't miss a moment of the Walt Disney World 50th anniversary. The celebration ends March 31st, 2023. See you soon. On your visit today at DisneyWorld.com slash 50.
Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, obviously, there's a problem with this, and it freezes. Um, the music turned off. Got to turn it back on real quick. Oh, hey, what happened? Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. That's all right. Um, so, I just want to just quickly put some music on any suggestions okay well that didn't work at all we're gonna do some uh freestyle okay we ready to go? We are ready to go. Now, sorry about that, guys. I wanted to buy an Evo, and it went online, and it froze. So I can't do anything about that. But if you weren't here just uh, previously, I was explaining everything about what performance, uh, centrifugal superchargers, how they work, takes horsepower to make horsepower uh twin turbo setup is a much more efficient way of doing things because the exhaust goes through turns the turbine which then in uh creates a vacuum pulls it in and then pressurizes it after that point you're going to want to use an intercooler because hot air is dense and it has problems atomizing plus you can detonate um and detonation inside of a cylinder when a piston is coming up is very very bad um, that's why you put concave pistons and you lower the compression to about eight to one and then you can put about 20 pounds of boost 16 to 20 pounds of boost and that'll take you up to 12.1 um, and it's really really important because after a certain point you detonate based on pressure because pressure is directly related with heat so the more pressure you have the more heat you have the more it's the more the density of it so um so welcome i have back, Dustin. yes welcome back thank you so i have uh i have uh i have some cars i want to go race now i'm racing a gto right now it's rear wheel drive it's quite squirrely um it's also a jdm te technically but it's it's supposed it's supposed to be something else so what i want to do is i i need to make a little bit of money So right now I'm at home. I'm gonna make some money. I need to make some money so I could get, uh, I need to actually, you know what I need to do? I need to change transmission on this. Now the transmission, I need to be a fully uh, upgradable. That's kind of the problem. Um, where's trans? Tires, rims, aero, performance handling. To be in here. Okay, transmissions. Now, I need a fully. Okay, this unlocks full. That's what I need. Now, we're going to test and see. Uh, I need to look at the ratio. Um, if the ratio is too low, like for instance, if you have a 373, or let's say you have a Chevy 350, the rear end's going to be a 373. Um, if you have a BMW with a four cylinder, it's going to be a 410 rear end. Um, so the higher the number goes up, it, it actually changes. What it's doing is changing the ratio of acceleration from torque because torque is, a, is actual a true measurement. Um, and horsepower is a calculation. Horsepower is not technically real. They say horsepower keeps you going, torque gets you going. Um, so I need to be able to adjust I need to be able to go um, tune my car here okay so here's the important part alignment is important gearing is important oh I have four gears oh that was a bad transmission to buy probably let's try it
We're gonna go right through here. Get out of the road. So we can actually see what this thing does. I might have to change transmissions again. Okay, there's a straight road. Wow, look at that though. 100 miles an hour in second gear. Pretty impressive. Little squirrely. Little squirrely. I need a straighter road than this. And and analog anti-lock brakes too. What's with no anti-lock brakes? Come on. I can race him. Okay, Dustin. I have set your route to a nearby race event. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Okay. In 200 yards, turn left. I need analog brakes, man. Analog brakes need to have them. And to all you new viewers, I just want to put this out there. If you're not already a follower or a subscriber, please, uh, it would mean so much to me to hit that follow. I'm a variety streamer, so if you look at my schedule, I have uh, interactive games that you guys actually make the decision and control the storyline, and the story changes every single time. You could choose to kill somebody, choose to take a weapon, choose to take them in. You could do a few things. Um, I got, yeah, some of that. I also have a retro day. Um, I have a, I'm going to have an RPG day. In 200 yards, turn left. Because I'm a person that likes to... I have no idea what this is. What is this? Lamborghini versus Ferrari. I uh, do I own a BMW? I think I do. My car's fast enough. I really do. I hope it's fast enough. Uh, what am I going to go with? I'm gonna go with the Supra. Go with the Monte. Go with the Monte Carlo. Or not the Monte Carlo. GTO. Hmm. 
You know, we're gonna go with the Supra. This is a newer Supra. This isn't a 2JZ5 Supra. But hopefully it'll downgrade since it is an A class and not an S1 class. My uh, GTO is an S1 class. So hopefully this will downgrade the rest of my competition because one, that last guy, I couldn't keep up with them. It was impossible. It just, it wasn't happening. And have you guys noticed my new beanie? Could not believe I found this. It says, it says po uh, Pikachu on it. And it's even got, oh, where is it? It's even got Pikachu on top of it. Now here's the funny thing. I have never played, I have never played a Pokemon game, ever. And I want to buy and play a Pokemon game. Just like Minecraft, I've never played Minecraft. So I'm gonna play Minecraft one time. Okay, let's get this show on the road. Let's see how good I can do with these, with the Supra. Okay, I should have went with the GTO, it looks like. This thing is squirrely. Woo. Yeah, I picked the wrong car by far. I didn't realize this was, I thought this was a road race. I mean, for real wheel drive car, I'm keeping up with them pretty good. And I'm getting drip points like crazy. get third. I can get third, I think. That was bad. Yeah, Rubbin is racing. Rubbin is racing, you son of a bitch. I'm getting there. Look at that, they're right there. Can't believe in a rear wheel drive GTO that I'm competing with all wheel drive cars on dirt and grass. And I still have one more lap to go, which means that it's very possible that I can still win this. Come on. Come on now. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Take out those boxes. Fuck those boxes. Here's where they slow it out. Yep, there they go. Okay, here we go. Yes. No. Okay, 
Yeah, I came close. It's pretty impressive. Pretty impressive, the rear-wheel drive car coming in at third place. Um, that was that was quite impressive in my eyes. I enjoyed that quite a bit. All all-wheel drive cars. Yeah. Okay, Dustin, I have plotted your route to a nearby race event. All right, here we go. Let's go again. Let's get some more money, and then we're going to start building a car. But you guys got to tell me. You guys got to tell me in chat what kind of car you want. Okay. Drag strip. Yeah. Let's see what it says for recommended cars. NSX. Camaro. Okay, these are all mostly supercars. So I'm gonna go with uh, with my Challenger. Reason being, it's because it is has crazy acceleration. I'm gonna change the gearing. Uh, I think I upgraded the transmission on this. Well, I know I did, but I didn't make it fully customized. And also, if you like what you're seeing, please hit that follow. I'm going for, um, I'm going for five followers today. So please hit that button. It's free, and it really means a lot to me. And if you're on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be starting to put out videos that are cut, edited, and professional. Um, I'm just, uh, I'm disabled. I don't have money to do this. And this is what's keeping me calm and feel I feel like this is this is helping me. Um, plus this also I make my own schedule and if I can't uphold to that schedule because of my disability, then that shows me that I can't work. So I need to find a way to work. So this really what this is is this is a way of possibly finding a new career and say, uh, working with in television or something like that with studio stuff. Um, yeah, I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Okay. It's gonna have quicker acceleration, but I, I need to have that sixth gear. So I have to raise, I have to raise it up. The higher you raise that up, the more acceleration you have. But the lower top button. <coughs> See, I messed up badly. I messed up badly. What I did is I set I set it up too high. Um, you would be surprised what point one two would do. Oh, I hope I don't lose it. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, I did lose it. Alright, we'll do the airfield, but we're not gonna... I wish I hadn't changed that. We're gonna go with the rally car on this one. It's gonna help out quite a bit. I guess I don't need that chat box. Well, that's interesting. It's got his own little chat box. Okay. We're not gonna tune this car. It's set up perfectly. I already set this up previously. I hate how there's no countdown. Now this, you have to really rely on the sound. This one slides worse than GTO did. It's definitely got better acceleration. And you gotta remember, I'm driving manual right now, so things are a little bit harder. Plus, I turned off the assisted driving and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I did that in this game. There we go. Get out of the way, Porsche. Whenever I'm in first, oh, I usually seem to do pretty well. That was just a really bad mistake. Oh, I can rewind. You know what? I don't ever use rewind because I kind of feel like it's a cheat. Because it really is. You little bug. Come on. I think it's a Porsche. Or a, it looks like a Porsche, old Porsche. I'm not really good at old cars. Uh, auto mechanics, you just kind of forget. He's got so much information in there. It's, it's really hard to uh, remember all this stuff. This guy, ooh. One more lap, take him out. It's amazing how they don't go sliding way out of control when I hit them, but when they hit me, I'm like all over the place. That was a good turn. Very good turn. Yes, now I'm out running them. Like I said, usually when I'm at first, I can I can drive a lot faster. I'm just for some reason I'm just more in tune uh, with what I'm doing.
Here we go. And there it is. First, 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 first. Did it, did it. No problem, no problem. Okay. Wonder how much money I got sixty two thousand. That's not enough. Um Okay, Dustin. I have set your route to a nearby race event. Okay, so let's go make some money over here. We're probably gonna need about 120,000. Level 10. Okay, let's see. Sprint, oh yeah. I love a good sprint. And the reason why. Hey, where's my Corvette? Oh, there it is. The Corvette's got extremely good handling. And I don't have to make any modifications to it. It's just, it's a great car. Great car. All right, here we go. Stop showing off your car. Seems like a big old waste of time to me, but it's loading, so that's probably why, obviously. Okay. That's all right. Let's go ahead and start this race. Wow, it is dark. Rubbin' is racing, guys. Rubbin' is racing. Woo! draft them. Oh, not that close. Shit. Yes, I'm going to rewind. up again. Come on, keep up with them. Keep up with them.
Okay, now I'm gonna have to draft this guy, pass him on the outside. Inside. This guy too. Pass him on the inside. If this is real life, my car would be just demolished. Get behind this guy, draft that air behind him. Oh, don't do that though. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I got third just by a hair. That's pretty good though. I accept that. That's pretty good. Still get cash. Level up. Nice. Nice. Seventy thousand credits. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what we needed. I could have got a Hellcat, but I want to buy my own car and soup it up. Um, I don't want to be doing this other stuff. And you know what I also want to make sure. Talking about. That's exactly what we needed. I could have got a Hellcat, but I want fully. Okay, Justin. I have set your route to a nearby race event. Turn around. I'm just changing guys just music it's getting a little depressing here all right let us continue oh. what is this now get out of there all right that was interesting all right so okay so what we're gonna do now is We're going to go to this one. Right now I should have, I got 142,000. So I can go buy a car now, but I'm going to do, I'm going to do one more race. destination okay so let's see sprint good <clears throat> <clears throat> now we gotta decide if i'm gonna run the corvette the grand national um the supra i'm not gonna run the supra what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the grand national um reason b is because i have a fully customized transmission in there and i need to make an adjustment So as soon as it's low, what I'm going to do is I need to lower the six gear gear ratio, but not so low that I can't accelerate once I get into sixth. Because I put as much torque into this as I possibly could. I'm drinking out of that when I have this. 
So, so we're going to do this race, and then after this, directly after this, we're going to go pick out a car, and then we're going to soup it up together, and so it's just one more race. I just need to tune the car a little bit quick. As soon as it loads, anyway. And if you guys haven't noticed too, I got a new ring light, a new setup for the camera. I hope it looks better. It should. Okay, so we're going to, we need to lower this here. 1.15, that's too high. We need to go about 7.4. We want 200 miles an hour. Okay, let's hope that that, now, when you tune a vehicle, you have to put it on a dyno many, many times. Um, I know people that do two cars, and you have to put it on a dyno. Now, it looks like I did a pretty good job on the tune. Because I have ten, 10 gears in this. Oh, eight, nine. It looks like eight, eight, seven, eight, and nine are not doing well. So I need to adjust the acceleration on those. And I'll start paying attention to driving now. Um, see how there's no separation between seven and eight? I need, I need to have a, a ratio that accelerates. Now I gotta shift three times in order to get into a higher gear, and I'm not catching up with them because of it. Things got great handling. I put 35s in the back, so it handles really, really well. This guy's got a Caprice in front of us. Yeah, that's a Corvette engine, if it's a cop car. Strong engine, LS2. They're a dime a dozen, though. figure out why my analog brakes isn't working. Now this car, it should have analog brakes, but it's a 1988, so, but it's nothing like I can't add vehicle speed sensors and ABS control module. I am smoking these guys right now. No, I can't even see those guys on the map. No problem. That was no problem whatsoever. Um, I need to change gear ratios on seven, eight, and nine. Uh, the acceleration is too much. It's kind of like so next time I go win, I need a reminder of that. But guess what time it is? It is time to go to the dealership. 
question is, where's the dealership? Oh, you probably have to go in here. Buy used cars. Okay. So now we're going to look and see. We're going to need to look and see and pick um, what kind of car we're going to get. So please, write in the chat um, and tell me what, what vehicles we should choose. I'm going to start looking. Um, uh auction house uh it's already gonna be so i i want something stock okay so what do we need we definitely need something more off-roady we have that car we have gto we need something all-wheel drive and all wheel drive i'm gonna go i would like to go with the um the m5 or the i8 no we're gonna go with the m5 does everybody agree with that m5 any complaints viewers Okay, well, no complaints. No complaints. All right. So, um, we are going to go with the BMW. Now, I used to own an M3 quite fast. I enjoyed it very much. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I like that. No, nah, I don't like it as much as I thought I did. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Okay, so just bought an M5 all wheel drive. It's gonna be great for handling. Uh, drifting, it's not gonna do great at. You can drift with all wheel drive, but it's almost all handbrake. But here's an M5 BMW. Very, very fast car. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna test and see what it can do just by itself. Just no, just stock. So far, pretty damn good. It's going to hit 165. Unless it's got seven gears in it, which I don't think it does. Okay, so now we know a little bit about what the car does. So, okay, so let's go to cars now. And we're going to... Huh. It's not tune. I want to upgrade the car. So I guess I got to go home and do that. All right. Um, or performance shop. One of the two. So I got to find a performance shop or I have to find. Upgrade and tuning. Okay. So, okay. So we're going to get into this and I'm going to go in depth. All right. 
so first things first brakes gotta have brakes and you have to have sway bar links um and i and i roll and this is gonna help a great deal um weight reduction another way another one reinforced roll cage Okay, so we're gonna drop the road height. We're gonna we're going for things that really 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 are needed. I would like to Okay, transmission the differential, you're going to change the differential and you're going to blueprint it based on the fact of whatever you're trying to do. Now the clutch, lightweight fly clutch, um, it helps with acceleration because it has less weight to spin. Okay, here's the important stuff. Okay, we have turbocharger, intercoolers. Okay, we're gonna do that. We're gonna put an intercooler with it. We need to cool the oil for the turbo. The flywheel is also a big part. And compression. Because we're turbocharging and whatever comes in, it's gotta go out. So you gotta do all the intake. Injectors have to be much stronger injectors. Ignition must be much stronger ignitions. Valve train must be much stronger. Cam gearing must be much stronger. Okay, let's see if I even have enough to pay for this. Thirty-eight thousand. So I came out just and above. Okay. So what we were actually doing here is, um, I kind of explained it through it. I can, and if you have any questions, please just write in the chat, ask me the question and I, I can answer it for you. Okay. So now let's go see what this car does. Now this car probably is going to be quite, um, it's going to be quite fast. And it being all-wheel drive is a huge advantage. The brakes work well. See, you can't, with all-wheel drive, you can't hit the gas while turning because it'll just go straight. Okay, what's this? Showcase. What is this? Oh, they drop a car out the back? That's pretty dumb to do. It's not very intelligent. Okay. While we're waiting, again, if you're watching and you're liking what you're watching and uh, uh, please hit that follow or please hit that subscribe, it would mean a great deal to me. And I uh, am a variety streamer, so I stream many different games. It's all on my schedule on the Twitch. I'm going to be adding it to YouTube schedule so you'll be able to see them too. Plus, I have interact interactive uh, um, games also where you guys choose what the person does. This is Scotty Tyler broadcasting to you live from a plane. This time we are throwing everything we have got at this super. Uh, pilot, there's a temple on the runway! Temple on the runway! Ooh, that's a jump. That is a jump. I don't know what I'm doing. Man, 
man, I'm really keeping up with him though, huh? Yeah, this car's fast. It's got great handling. It's fast. The braking could use some improvement. Fans at the stadium going wild! Yes! What's it gonna take to beat this superstar? Let's see! What else you got? Why is it position four? Hey, 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 the cargo doors are opening. You want me to shut this? Oh, that was the plan? Touchdown! Go team motorcycle! Now it's a race horizon! Superstar driver versus daredevil bikers. Who you got? Hopefully I can just knock him off. Shit. That was not fast enough to beat a motorcycle. That's cheating too. They're just going any way they want. Jumping over shit. Come on, I'm gonna catch you. Yeah, you did. I probably hit him. I'm gonna hit the rest of them too. I'm gonna knock them all out of the race by injuring them. I don't like how they can how they can just go anywhere they please. They don't have to go through checkpoints or anything. Oh, I'm in the wrong car. I was supposed to be in a BMW. I was wondering why that car was so slow. Huh, it had, it had you race in their car. I came in second, that's pretty good. Got a next level, finish second. Okay guys, that was Forza 5 and we built a car and I went over and explained um, a little bit about performance and, and how you get that performance and what it is. Stoichiometric and what comes in must go out for intake and exhaust. Um, but we've overplayed a little bit too long today. So what I'm gonna do is uh, today we're gonna be ending this but I have another stream coming up just shortly. Um, I don't remember what it is. It might be crows, I'm not sure. I have to check. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please hit that follow button or that subscribe button if you like what you saw. I'm gonna be putting, I'm a variety streamer, so I'm gonna be putting out different games. It'll be on my schedule on Twitch, and it also I'll be adding it on schedule on my um on my YouTube. So this is Gonzo CET signing off.